Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let me show you 10 ways to undo on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 900 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now you probably know the basics of using Undo. But there are many different ways and in many different situations that you can use Undo to go back one step in whatever it is you're working on. Not all of those use Edit Undo or Command Z. So first let's look at the most basic situation and that's while you're editing text. Pretty much everybody knows how to use Undo for that. So you could go ahead and change something in your text and then go to Edit and Undo Typing and it will undo the change. This also works if you delete something. You can go Edit, Undo Typing and it undoes the delete. But what a lot of people don't do is take full advantage of this because you can go back multiple steps. So while you're writing you can make a lot of changes with confidence knowing that if those changes don't work out you can simply go back and undo all the changes back to a previous state. Now while I'm sure everybody knows how to use Undo in text not as many people utilize it when they're editing images. So for instance I'm in an editing app here and they will all support this. But I'm in Affinity Photo. And I can make a lot of changes here. So for instance I can go to Filters here and add lots of different filters. I can use a Sharpen filter here and then I could go and apply maybe a Color filter here and then maybe Sharpen and even do a Crop. and even draw on the image. And I can undo each one of those. And it even shows me what I'm undoing. So undo the paintbrush tool, undo the crop, undo that filter and every filter all the way back. But you could do this in just about any app. Even complex ones like using video editing tools like iMovie. So say I want to make some adjustments here. I can do that without worrying about how the end result is going to look because I can undo multiple steps. So I'm going to go in here and do an Auto Color. I'm going to go here and adjust some of the lighting. I'm going to do a Crop. I'm going to even apply a Filter here. And then with all that done I can undo each step with Command Z to go all the way back to how it was in the first place. Now even if you knew how to use Undo in those three examples here are some that a lot of people still don't know even though they've been around on the Mac for a while. You can use Undo in the Finder. Let's say for instance that I take this file here and I move it to another location. I can undo that move with Command Z. And the same thing is true even for file name changes. So I could rename this and I can undo that rename. And this works with multiple steps as well. So I can move a bunch of things to a bunch of different places and then Command Z, Z, and Z to go back those three steps. Now let's go outside of using Edit Undo or Command Z and see some other undo functions. For instance in the Finder if you put something in the trash let's take this file here and move it to the trash. Now I could undo that move to the trash. But let's say I put a bunch of things in the trash like this one here and this here. Now let's go into the trash folder here and I have these three files. What if I know that one of those is a mistake and I need to put it back but I don't remember where it came from. You could select a file and under File there's a Put Back command. Command Delete is the shortcut for that. So this doesn't just take it out of the trash. It actually puts it back in its original location. And it shows you where it goes. And I could do that for each one of these files. Matter of fact I can grab multiple ones and do Put Back and those will go back into their respective locations. Now you can use Undo in a browser as well even though you're not actually creating content in a browser. One of the ways you can use it is if you close a tab like I'll close this tab I can go to Edit Undo and undo Close Tab. So it will reopen that tab. But there are other features in Safari that are also kind of like undos. If you go into History 
you'll see recently closed tabs and be able to go to any of those. So even tabs that you closed earlier today or yesterday will appear here. You can reopen the last closed window and you can reopen all windows from the last session, the last time that you quit Safari. Now other apps also support undo when it comes to moving things around or even deleting them. So here for instance in Mail I've got three messages. Let's do something different with each one. For this one I'm going to archive it. For this one I'm going to put it into a mailbox folder here and for this one I'm going to delete it using the delete key. I can undo every one of those. So edit undo delete message, edit undo move message, and edit undo archive message and I get everything back. I can go back multiple steps undoing multiple kinds of changes. Now the Photos app has a special kind of undo. So if you go into a photo and edit it you can of course make changes. For instance I'll change the light here and I'll change the color and I can use Edit Undo to undo each one of those changes. But even when I click Done and now it looks like those changes are permanent I can undo and go back to the original anytime I want even after I quit Photos and come back in or many days or even months and years later. If I go to Edit there's a Revert to Original button. That's because Photos is a non-destructive editor meaning it always keeps the original around. So no matter how long ago you made that change you can go and use Revert to Original to undo all of those changes including cropping, rotations, and other things. There's also a special kind of undo that's available in Pages, Numbers, Keynote, and some third-party apps. And that allows you to go back to previously saved versions of the document. So let's save this document. I'll just call it Test and I'll create a new line and I will save again, Command S, another line, Command S, and a last line, Command S. Every time I saved I saved a version of it. Only the changes between versions are saved. So it's not like an entirely new document saved. It doesn't actually take up much space at all. So now if I want to undo back to the previously saved version I can go to File and then Revert To and I could browse all the previous versions in a Time Machine like interface. So I can go back to this version here, restore it, or if I wanted to I could go into it and actually select and copy text from it. So if you delete a paragraph and save and then a few days later want to get that paragraph back you can use this to copy it out and then hit Done without restoring anything and then paste it in. Now one last thing I want to show you is that you can undo an undo. That's called a redo. So for instance here in Pages I can make a bunch of simple changes. And I could certainly use Command Z to undo all of these changes. But once I've used Undo I can now use Redo. Usually the keyboard shortcut for that is Shift Command Z although some apps have it a little bit different than that. So you want to check under the Edit menu for Redo. I'll just use Shift Command Z to redo all of that. So you can kind of go backwards with Undo's and then forwards again with Redo. So hopefully this gave you some more ideas about how to use the Undo command and similar things on your Mac. Using Undo isn't just a way to correct mistakes. It's also a way to give you the freedom to experiment knowing that you can go back a few steps if it doesn't work out. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.